Dragonfire had engulfed the Shield Islands, and that was news that would spread fast. Dragons had breathed their fire upon Westeros many times, the Conqueror, the Conquests of Dawn, Maegor's Wars. Yet each time it had been one of Targaryen blood who issued the order to breathe that eternal fire. Yet now people hear tales that the dragon on the Shield Tower was not some measly weak one, it was not some wild and unkempt dragon, it was a tamed, obedient, and ferocious dragon. Sapphire had proven, despite her younger age, a true proficiency for siege and land battles. She had brought a mighty blaze of the fertile grass and soils of the Grey Shield and Green Shield. Many brave knights had died upon those fields, burnt amidst ash and smoke. Serious damage had been dealt, and much coin had to be spent to restore the weakened cities and damaged walls. While well, Sapphire was still young, the mightiest cities of the realm would no doubt survive her blazes, of course. But the Shield Islands had fallen with ease and only one remained, and Sapphire was growing larger each day. Oakenshield, and the small shields there north, were a strongly protected island, and the largest of them all. Through this, they were innately designated as the, the seat of the Shield Islands, and given to House Hewitt to be stewards of. Lord Sirwin swore fealty and paid tithes to Lord Lenwood Hewitt for the privilege to live within the Isles, to rule from his island. But the way Sirwin saw it, he now had the largest army on the Isles, and he flew back the most beautiful dragon in the realm. He had a wife capable of managing such realms. To him, <laughs> it was time the Lord of Oakenshield learned to bend the knee. There was hesitation from many within his court, but none from his dear wife Lady Jonah. With their second son now in the care of the wet nurse, her attention was able to be turned entirely upon her husband and upon their stature, and she knew that they deserved far better than these isles. He was a dragon rider, and she was a smart and capable woman. It was time they elevated their position, no matter the cost. She'd always been ruthless and passionate, ever since the day the two first met in the halls of Highgarden. Sirwin had only just been named a lord, and she was a fine courtier and a handmaiden to the Lady Tyrell, Joanna Lichbury, a young, beautiful, intelligent, and eligible bachelorette. It was about eight months later that the two were wed, and it was on that night she first met Sapphire, when he held her close and tight and let her ride upon the dragon's back, riding across the night sky, alone. Sirwin found the entire thing romantic, for he had ridden his dragon many a time, and felt no place was freer than the skies. But for Jonah, it was the start of a new feeling, a new belief. She finally understood why dragons ruled the world, and she was going to make others realise it too. For now, Sapphire would remain a tale of folklore and worried whisper in Lord Tyrell's ear. None would deny the existence, but... Had they truly burned all to the ground? Surely not. The stories had not spread far beyond that, with the good king of Viserys still unaware of the beast roaming freely in the Reach. Though in truth that wasn't much of a surprise, there was many things that happened without the good king paying attention to it. The entire world was changing around him, though he didn't seem to care. Otto Hightower would from time to time mention war in the Reach, rising of tensions in the Stepstones, a great confusion in the Stormlands that could lead to bloody war. The King did not care for it. For Sirwin, though, he knew that this wouldn't last. Becoming a Duke would put eyes upon him, powerful eyes, many eyes, of a dragon riders, of a men of power seeking what he had. But as long as he had Sapphire, he was confident, he felt confident, that he could navigate all eyes and turn things for the better, use this attention for his gain. He knew the dragons would live within his home and his isles for the centuries to come. 
He was dragon blood, and from him would come dragon blood. Little did he know just how quickly that dream would come true. Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones, where we are continuing as Lord Sirwin the Stout of House of Baron. Uh, I've spent about two weeks getting this video made because of the, some of the issues that came out with Roads to Power, uh, the new DLC, and obviously having to patch back. Uh, I can't patch forwards or else nobody has a face, which is a very interesting glitch. Uh, but patching back was a difficulty because some of the mods had already updated too quickly, so I had to get com patches for earlier versions. Uh, in the end, I decided to uh, use the mod that we use in our brand new multiplayer games, which are going to be starting, uh, hopefully not too long after this. Uh, when this video comes out, we are going to be having our assignments open. Some of the houses have already been assigned. However, there are still lots of spaces open. We have about uh, 40, 50 players at the moment, so this is going to be a huge multiplayer game. and We invite all of you to come join us for what should be, hopefully, some of the best Crusader Kings 3 roleplay out there. I'm already seeing some fantastic roleplay posts going up on our Discord. And if you're interested in joining, please check out our Discord. But uh, as you can see, one of the things we have is this rule about domains. And this rule is implemented, and I want to implement it here in this game, because when I was playing as the uh, House Sea Drake down here, I just found it way too easy. Just gain land, gain a bunch of domain, and then just be infinitely rich. Uh, I mean, House Sea Drake kind of stopped, one, because it barely got any views by the end, but two, I was just earning far too much money. For for anything to be, you know, a challenge. So this I'm hoping will actually make things a little more difficult because we can not hold so many titles. Uh, in fact, we're going to grant this away to Leo. We trust him with Cliff's Eye, mostly because obviously, hopefully, we'll one day build a dragon pit elsewhere for the Sapphire. Because right now, Sapphire has no pit. Which uh, is good for Sapphire, but not good for others. Uh, that's going to keep us one above the domain limit. Which is not good. It's going to reduce our taxes, it's going to reduce our levies, and it's going to make our army obviously more difficult to afford. But put a club foot in charge. What's wrong with putting a club foot in charge? But in the long run, I hope it'll be fine. Can only set to assist ruler as well. Uh, this is to stop basically... If you uh, set your Castilian on Oversea Realm, set your Steward on one thing, and then set your Wife on uh, Stewardship, you can get absurdly high Stewardship, which is a little much uh, when, when it comes to gold. Because basically, we, we just want to limit the amount of ways you can earn gold. And that's what we've done. Why is my expenses so high here? And that just makes sense. We have Master of the Hunt, Wet Nurse, Master of Arms. Okay, it, it can be a little expensive then. Do I need a Master of Arms at the moment? Maybe not. He's going to lose opinion on me, which sucks. But I'd rather earn that gold just for now. And then when we have a court, we can bring him in and, and bring in the court there. But yes, I decided to switch to that. Because also it helps with my compact issue. So, I mean, I was already considering it anyway just because of the issues I've ha I had and just how easy it was over here in Pentos. So hopefully this can make things a little more difficult. Not much, but a little more difficult. What I am going to now need to do is find some ways to earn some money because we're con constantly going to have the uh, domain holding losses. So that's 20 domain levies and 20 domain taxes in, I've not, I believe, all provinces but our capital. Oh no, even our capital. Wow, oh, okay. Um, what do we want for Lionel? Content, humble, or cynical? Humble's is not that good, I think, because content's okay, just lose your intrigue. Actually, no, humble's good. Let's see if we can get him humble. 
Because I'm definitely not the religious sort, so if he could get some piety, that might be good for us. Rainies is now 19. Prove to make her. I guess, um, Ceres in this timeline is trying to stop the Dance of the Dragons. Though I don't know if that plan is going to work. Is she pregnant again? Wow. Maylor Game and Maylis. I'm pretty sure I had Canon Children on, but I guess the Canon Children don't want to be born here for some reason. <laughs> Jason is. died at 12. Wow. Spotted fever. The beasts of the shield tower, my lord, House of Rosamond, and she marches up to me, holding my son Unwin by his ear. This dratted child has been lying in wait around corners, wearing a bearskin for a costume, only to jump out screaming and scare the living daylights out of people. I mean, I agree that that is just bloody hilarious. Excellent work, Unwin. Um, can I guardian you? Yes. And I say I'm already guardianing Lionel. He's pensive and humble. And very good stewardship. I know there's some potential for him, but I don't know how much for Lionel. I think he'll just be a good son and a good uh, heir. Which, I mean, if we're being completely fair, nothing wrong with that. Am I able to do a legendary hunt again? Or is it too soon? Okay, another 18 months. That's fine. The legendary bear can wait. We will find him. The control like yeah, twenty four control game by forty, and then game by one point fifteen. Grimston. That's pretty good. When we get this, I mean, this is soon to be finished anyway. How long does it say? Okay, a couple months, so... Nine months. Okay, then we move that to Chestfield. And then hopefully we can grant these away to vassals when we become the Duke title. Becoming the Duke is going to be a problem. Offer him a squire now. Start a claimant faction of myself. Just to see. I'd be the only member, but it's a good to see the military power here. None against me, because I don't have any vassals beyond um, Sir Leo here. And I can't imagine either of his... Uh... Oh, he only has one. I was going to say either, but I guess he still owns Small Shield. But I can't imagine Sir Samgood is going to come to my side in this. If he's even able to, I can't remember if... Uh... I think Baron Laws are able to... Oh, just join factions in general. I don't think they can create them. Sarah's return back home. Oh, Unwin's... Hurry, man, you have to hear this. The wet nurse, Joanna, rushes to my son, James. Points to Unwin so I need to watch listen. The father. He's already a devotee. What else can we say? It's very interesting that um, both of my sons seem to have picked up very early um, religious tenants. When I myself am a not especially religious man. Like so when last in the face of religion. Why am I able to raise Sapphire to the ability? I don't think she'll be able to do that with dragons. We've already got a lot of kills from the uh fight so far. I believe House Greenwatch was Greyfield and then uh Torch Harbour was this one. Somewhere. 
already up to 63 dragon size, 60 combat effectiveness. Ooh. Well, Osma, is this a tyranny war? A liberty war? And they've got better odds. Interesting. I wonder if uh, Lord Garmin tried to raise taxes or something. Uh, what side is our Lord taken? Uh, he's neutral. Okay. I would have thought maybe um sided with uh, the Lord of the Reach. Why do you not like his odds, dear? He's being surrounded right away. Ooh, the Reach, uh, the uh, Talis have come in to wipe out an army. Having the Talis on his side is very good for him, because the Talis are always known for being strong fighters. In fact, I think he's got all the marches with him. No, only, only uh, the Talis have been directly called in. He needs to call in the High Towers. That's what he needs. It's the one with power like the High Towers. Okay, another victory here. If they can shatter these smaller armies before they can unite, they may have a chance. They need to take out this army down here next. Oh no, they're going to get here first. They didn't have enough time. Less? No, they're going to be able to cross, surely. They need to inflict a lot of damages before this 9k arrives to win this. Or oh, maybe... Oh no, it's just turned against them here. I guess it depends what the kill rate is. Oh, it looks near even. Nah, they've lost this. Really close though. Oh, Eris Targaryen has hunted a new uh, has hatched a new dragon named Star Hunter. That is Damon's kid with uh, Lena. Wait. This is still really close on casualties. I don't think this wins the war. Just of how close these two are. If somebody else joined the war right now, if like Hightower joined this war, I think it, it's all over. But he's not calling anyone else in. Very interesting. I really thought he would have. Just to, to try and turn the tide, perhaps. I mean, if he called me in, he would have had a dragon on his side. So make of that what you will. He's only got 3k. So do I. Because obviously I've had to give away uh, high cliffs. Keep my mains normal. I suppose I could revoke cliffs high. Go to war with the numerical advantage. But then I need like a huge cash reserve. Because that is going to bleed money. That's going to be the issue. It wouldn't be a huge advantage as well because this minus 20% um, would also be raised. I believe doubled. 5,000 men down here. Why have they been separated? Uh, I don't know if they're just going to run in and attack straight, well, straight away again. Yeah, yeah. I think this is without the... I mean, even the uh, peaks would be helpful here, but no. I think this is over. Really thought that... Lord Hobart would have joined. No, he's just in the army, apparently, rather than being called in. Should be game over. So I assume this is a Cis Liberty faction is going to be. Oh dear. The Lord Paramount died. And then this is going to be. They all get a weak hook on him, and we go down a level of crown authority. Did he die in battle? Yes, he was slain by Sir Giles. He's just a lowborn. A lowborn within the uh, Red Front. Oh dear. Well, I can't imagine it going much worse than that. How quick would it even be to 
take on war here. He's got better quality than us as well. It's worth noting. Okay, 6.9 to raise my armies. Oh, because I am using Misty Shields. I didn't think about that. These are a bit... I mean, these are absurdly expensive. Mm -hmm. But they are worth it. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to revoke his title. He's going to hate me either way, so there's no point wasting the hook. No, that worsens my numerical advantage. Is that... Did the numbers not outnumber the um, minus 20%? I really thought they would have. Oh, um, it expires the 18th of the four. Wait, 107? That doesn't make any sense. It's, it expires 10 years ago. So it's just never going to give tax because it's a new one above the holding. Oh dear. Okay, I see. Right. So that was pointless then. Okay. Shows how much I know about CK3 compared to CK2 that I didn't know this. Uh, we're going to give it to John Havenscribe then. We may just have to risk it. Because I don't see us getting many more men. Unless I can get Marriage Alliance. Why is Unwin bold? Kid, where's your hair gone? This is your default? You fucking egg on. <sighs> maybe maybe let's see if we can get an alliance through Lionel. Can't get a good one. No, we should we should be getting alliances when we're a lord. I think we take the risk. I think we push our claims and we just take the risk and hope that a dragon's gonna turn the tide to I mean it should. Oh, and we have 4,000, actually? Wasn't expecting that. 28. Do we have someone who can lower the cost? You know, that just increases fleet movement speed, not the fleet cost. So, because that is a lot of money for a fleet. 22 gold. I guess we don't have much of a choice. And we're going to lose 2.6 a month. So, not, not terrible, but that is bleeding. So, we're going to have to win this quick. It's weird, so my men have gone. Oh, I guess it's because I'm not paying a vassal contract to him anymore. Because obviously part of my levies would have been paid in um, vassal contracts to Oakenshield. So I suppose I've gained troops because that uh, that contract's no longer in use. Oh, and now it's up to 4.3. Okay, that is definitely bleeding. God, embarking costs are very expensive. Okay, and we get, I think we need to use a dragon. Uh, and we'll, we'll do minor damage to it. Just because we need to win this siege quite quickly. And we're not going to win it in four years. I can tell you that now. We invite him to court. Welcome back. Yeah, he's just going to siege down, and it's going to be far easier for him to siege, because his places are actually fortified, unlike mine. We need to breach the walls. They're already running low on supplies there. Anything that might help? Yeah. Oh no, that siege weapon affected this, that's the problem. Which I don't really have. Siege progress against revolts won't help. Captain affecting this would actually help uh, if we do go to a battle. Heavy infantry. I might go for this just for the heavy infantry. I think that's the best move because uh, heavy infantry is our only uh, obviously specialist type at the moment. Oh dear, the street of Oakenshield is a river of fire and the defenders scatter before our landed form. 
Another building goes up in flame, and as I as the defenders flee, I direct Sapphire to chase the Ardors before they can regroup. A great form lumbers through the street with surprising speed after the fleeing blow bowman. But as we pass the street, she roars in pain. I don't see a spear embedded in her side. The lone defender who must have been carrying in that street have been drawn courage to strike at us. I bid her to rise and flee. Oh dear. And she's not large enough to damage it further. Well, it seems like it's only a, uh, yeah, very, very minor wound. Obviously, severe penalty, again, is because dragons have, have so much health that you need to do about a billion damage to even slightly wound them. Effects to combat effectiveness slightly. Dropped it down by two. He's got four months left and we still have 23. Hopefully he shouldn't be able to siege multiple provinces. Maybe only here in Chesterfield, even though that's still pretty bad. But we need to get these three, maybe four, I think. I didn't even realize there was one here. I thought there was only one here, but there's another here in the uh, Torch Tower. Interesting. Hey, Owen's Watch. I'm going to make this the new capital. <laughs> For no reason at all. No affinity to that name at all. Okay, we're down to losing 2.5, but we're still losing money. in the pox is spreading. Uh, is there anything I can do? Does this make it better or worse? That does nothing. Okay, gives it out. I mean, I don't have vassals, so I don't know why I thought vassal tax contribution would do anything. Maybe switching this might help? It, it, it changes by point 0.1. Getting this really quick. Oh, because they've surrendered. They've Sickness is spreading at least, so... Interesting, I have every 19 days, and he has every 20 days. What gives me a minus 1 to siege events? Is it... Um, one of these? I don't think so. I was forget about murderer. Whoops. No one needs to know about that. No one needs to worry about that. Yeah, they're going to get this and Chesterfield very quickly. This is the problem of not having siege equipment. Like 0 0.6 a day against 1.2 a day. But it's it's an expense I just can't afford when I'm still this title. When I become a duke, I'm definitely going to be investing in siege equipment, just in general. Because even if you're not, you know, conquering, you still need it just to secure land, really. Yeah, he's moved on to green shield. There's max three years, but he's going to break that quick, because this army has... Oh, it doesn't have siege equipment. He also just has um, heavy infantry, same as me. There's 14 knights, though, compared to my 8. So his captain efficiency is much better than mine. But I don't think I can even get higher. No, and even if I could, I couldn't afford to hold it for long. Yeah, they're starting to desert. Which maybe helps us a bit. Oh, that actually, actually helps us quite a lot. It's an abuse of power, but we gain 55 gold, which we greatly needed. And Sapphire's recovered from a wound. What's her... What's she like compared with, um... Caraxes, for example? Yeah, look at that. 114 Draconic Dead. 156 power. Oh! A new Dragon Egg attached to the Ragbit of Dragonstone. Princess Rainis has added a grey beast to her strength, they say. There was only a baby that... Dragon was, and any dragon is a fearsome thing. An unbounded dragon is a particular sense. Ripples of worry through simple folk and nobles alike. So it's unbounded. And it is a child of Cyrax. It's fun. Let's just hope he never breaks this uh, siege walls. Because I'm definitely not breaking these ones. Just sit for 16 months. Figure out why my son is bold. I got these two hiding in the pantry. They stole a whole cake of meat. That's my, my boy Lionel. 
Um, seems as if my ward protected his partner from keeping a lookout while abstaining from drinking any himself. So he can either be temperate, which is, I mean, pretty good. Diligent is great, though. I think we I think we'd give it to him. I'm gonna give you some hair. Um, but I think we'll even look slightly like baby hair. I'll just give you that. It's better than being bold, kid. That's just early, 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 early onset uh, balding. Oh, Stormlands is at war. Oh no, it's just the vassals. These two vassals next to each other are both simultaneously at war. Fair enough. Just thought a Stormlands war would have been interesting. A strategical impact. I'm sitting around my map table with Ed Kerr and Sir Lucamore discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Ooh. So I get to pick. So each can get improved pillaging, which is going to help with the siege impact time. Improved avoidance, which is army impact. No, I think we want both of them to get improved pillaging, so they both get the siege time effect. See if that brings it down at all. No. Only 26 gold of loot in there. Such low stakes battles in terms of monetary value. I do think we'd be nearing bankruptcy if it wasn't for my wife finding that money. Quote unquote finding. That <laughs> she definitely didn't find it. I mean, she just embezzled a bunch of money and then was like, look, my love, I uh, found this. Look at that. It actually has its own model now. High tide. That is beautiful. It, it, having that next to Dragonstone really makes this area a lot more interesting. I do, I mean, in the multiplayer series that you guys will be seeing, uh, I'll be streaming it and then hopefully making, hopefully, quote unquote, making uh, highlights, which I hope to post about the series. Uh, we're going to be playing, obviously, in King's Landing. I'll be playing as King Viserys. But this, this makes me want to do a Valarian game one day. Maybe as a as a less edited, or as a more edited series. Sorry, just a, a look at the Valarians for a while. Uh, I am working on videos for other series, and I was working on one for base CK. But I decided not to do that one, uh, and instead I am just preparing a video on at the moment Victoria, which I hope will be quite fun, and that's going to go up alongside this series. This. Um, I'll talk about it maybe in a future Cinder video, for those of you who do watch Cinder. But uh, the House Cinder series has gone down a lot in views. And we are at a very late point in the series now. We're 26 episodes in. Which means 26 weeks in as well, which is kind of crazy. So I feel it may be time to bring it to a close. And I think the best way to do that is sort of doing a retrospective and look forward of looking at where the Empire's been, where it's going next. So there's going to be a big wrap-up finale. Probably episode 30. So for now, the intro parts of those I'm no longer doing, just so I can focus on doing the intros for these videos, because both take a lot of editing time. What just happened? I have to burn them again. Take it back down to 11 months. I don't know what happened there that just suddenly made them gain five years of defense on that. But um, yeah, uh, I love Cinder. And I do feel that I just want to give it time to get rich a natural conclusion. Because it, it deserves it. No idea what the capital Pentos is. They lost Pentos, that's why. What the hell? Mia just captured Pentos. What the... That was because it, it's owned by three daughters. Oh, this is very odd. <laughs> very odd indeed. But yeah, I, I guess I just want to have it reach a natural conclusion. Because I think it deserves that. It's my longest running series and it, it, it deserves that chance to say goodbye. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a proper uh look through like that.
But yes, we're going to be having streams of the multiplayer games. That's starting the 20, I believe, 26th. Right, let me check my my calendar. Uh, but we're going to have videos on basically whenever I can, but we're going to be having streams and VODs of those streams should be up sort of on my channel proper. Uh, and you, uh, my Twitch channel proper rather, uh, in the VODs tabs. And you guys will be able to watch those and follow along the, the story of, of that campaign with us. And I'm, I'm very, very excited for that. I, I really think that there's a lot of great players in the server already. And if you're interested in joining us, I mean, why aren't you? <laughs> the Discord's in the description. Come join. It's a great, great place. And yeah, October 26th, Session 1. If you want to get in there, guarantee you're going to be missing out if you're not. Uh, yeah. Obviously, you can join once the game's already started as well, but who? surely you want to be there for week one, folks. What a weird capital. Like the weirdest possible capital for three daughters. Yes, uh, this series will likely become my A series soon enough. And uh, I'm going to be doing a Victoria series that's going to be quite heavily edited because I want to get through Victoria a little quicker. So, um, it will be a different style for me, like a heavily edited focused video, uh, going through many years and a much shorter span, but I think it should be fun. Let me see how many Tame Dragons. Owns Dragons 2. Yeah, I guess they're all in Dragons though, aren't they? Owns Dragons 6, Tames Dragons 1, Wild Dragons 2. And Owns Dragons 1, Tame Dragons 2. <gasps> oh my! We're talking about dragons in this. The greatest news has just happened. Sapphire has laid a clutch four eggs. My dragon keepers have quickly thrown together a new area of incubation, having not expected more than a single egg. The rest of the world looks on in envy as I've been blessed with these treasures. Born from Sapphire's day is more wealth than most families will ever know, or more power than they will ever be able to wield. Soon all the scions of House Deron will take to the skies. Oh, and they're just all in my inventory, so I can just equip them all. Get a whole bunch of pre monthly prestige. Can I grant one to my son? Yeah, I can. Uh, let's give him the gold one. And let's give my other son the beige one. So I still get to keep two myself. Grey and opal dragon egg. Oh, and I also have an infantry spear I can equip. Come on. Please tell me that this is going to give significant war score because this war is taking a very long time. <laughs> but I may temporarily go to speed 5 just for a little bit. I don't like to do this, but just because there's not a lot we can do while this war is raging. Oh, a daughter. That's wonderful. Uh, what shieldmen names are there? Melissa, Leonette, Jana, Cersei, Yenis, Lysel, Ania. I like Jane. Jane. Uh, and we'll give her the Grey Dragon Egg. Yeah, a sieged Mark's Crown. What a great name for an item. Mark's Crown. Oh, I can only wear it if I'm an independent ruler, their spouse, or their heir. I only, get, I only got a tiny bit percentage of war score. Alright, let's go attack his army directly. I've had enough... I'm going to pay the cost just to get over there and beat him up. It may have to go to 5 speed again. There's no way he escapes us, surely. I was going to say, this surely doesn't win this battle, but he might. He actually might win this. Oh, unless Sapphire has greatly helped me in the battle and completely turns the tides on them. Let's get back to these islands, just because I don't... Unseizing this, I don't think it's going to do a lot compared to protecting these. 
But look at that, we lost a thousand men and he only lost five hundred. This is that was really, really bad for us. His army quality is just the so much better than ours. It's it's very difficult to explain. See if we can meet him here. I wonder if we land first. No, he, he does land first. I was gonna say I thought we might land first just because in CK2, which I actually do like in CK2 you can just land straight in because you own the port since you own the province or occupy the province. Okay, so we we have a hundred commander advantage. How much of this is? Oh, it's just pure battle roll. I was about to say how much of this is a dragon. No, it's battle roll. Our knight Aldrich was wounded. That's not good. And Samson was wounded. All my knights just seem to get wounded. Let's uh, follow him. We know where he's going. There's only one place he can go. Yeah, and he's not going to get off the island. How does that... How I don't understand that. Defending a straight crossing gives him plus 30. That is a bit absurdly high. Leaving own soldiers never back down. He's just got insane stats, I think it is. Well, can I get my dragon to help here, maybe? Thank you, Sapphire. I fly over high over the enemy's position. Men and horses are like positioning for the battle to come. Bought by great dragon Sapphire. They look like mere ants to me. Still, some ants are more significant than others. And a flutter of banners arranged together draws my attention, even from here. Then they get rapid seed. I see Sir Spikewood. And most of a noticeable significant portion of enemy warriors are congregated around a single area. These enemies are maggots, and I will make them squirm. Filthy grubs, I think to myself, relishing the flames to come prepare to burn. Therene of Hell has swore to call revenge for me slaying their love. But, uh,. Them's the brakes, pal. And they're going to survive this again, aren't they? Yeah, they're retreating again. It's remarkable how often they're able to retreat. I'll just let him retreat with his whole army, honestly. I'm going to use a dragon here. Hopefully siege this one down quite quick. So we've got max battle score, and we occupy the enemy's capital, so that gives us 10%. But I guess we just need to keep occupying his lands for a while. So again, we're going to mess with the speed a little bit, just because sieging takes forever in CK3. Like CK2, I genuinely do not know how CK2 is so much better at this. Why am I earning profit now? Have I lost so many men that I'm actually earning money? Kind of. This has gone down in cost. Oh, there we go. I guess taking this counts as a full occupation now. So we're going to enforce our demands. And Shield Tower becomes the capital. Until I eventually kick you out of here and take your lands, which I'm definitely considering. But I can't revoke your titles while you're protected, but that's fine. Can I modify his contract at least? Get rid of title revocation. Give him... I'm going to really give Cornish Grip. I can give him sanctioned war declaration. There you go. So, I mean, who's he going to declare war on, really? And now we can go back to a normal speed because... I, I don't know why CK2 for me feels like the sieging just makes more sense than it does here. Let's... We'll get siege weapon effects in this up because we do need... But I have coin. We're going to buy siege weapons. Uh, the best one would probably be the yeah, Manganels. We'll buy some, and we're going to station them in Brimston. Now I can give Chesterfield away to, I guess, maybe my son? I don't know. I, I don't think he's of age yet. I don't think he's ready just yet. But the problem is not many other people like me. <laughs> so that's going to be a problem. Who's Aegon Flowers? It's a curious one. 
Uh, we'll give him to a noble Shuban culture, and I'll just spawn one who likes me. Just because I need people who like me. The guy I've just been to war with. Oh! Oh, I don't know. This is exciting news. Seaport and traders alike hum with anticipation. And for, the commission discovered that the mere child, Lionel, has hatched the beast that will grow so powerful. Yet he's managing it. My son, Lionel, has hatched his little dragon egg. You can see it's no longer there. And from it, he's named his yellow hatchling, Hagagon. Or how would you pronounce that? It's, um... Hegagon. Yeah, Hegagon. What sweet little dragon. And it's bonded with him, too. Well, that's wonderful. Exciting news. And I can ransom away him for some coin as well. Wonderful news. Did I just double ransom him there? Funny if I did. Now, can I... Oh. No, legendary sighting's gone. That makes me sad. I guess let's confirm and then discard it. And I'm now the culture head of um, the shieldman, which, I mean, makes sense. I'm the most relevant shieldman there is now. Uh, we guard the Manda. Martial administration gives us extra captains, which is pretty good. Equitable, which gives just and honest more often, which is great. More garrisons is always good. Uh, insular marriage is a bit of a problem, but uh, we won't worry about it for now. I mean, we've already seen sometimes people that marry outside of their culture from our own uh, father and from our grandfather, too, also did it. Yeah, we are now a, a duke inside the reach. Gives us a lot more responsibilities. Especially considering how many men we lost in that in that war. We're gonna need to rest for a while after that one, I think. But I do want to revoke these tiles from him eventually when I can. Yeah, can't wear Mark's crown. I might as well just destroy it because I'm never I'm not when I'm independent, I'm gonna have a better crown than Mark's crown. I can never promise you that. Our monthly income is very bad, actually. Our unraised men at arms cost 2.1. Shieldmen reduced the cost, but that just shows how expensive Misty Shields are. I think I may just have to get rid of them, because they're a little too expensive. I, I was a bit cocky going for them. And now with the domain changes I've made, I think it may be better going for... How much does the cav cost unraised? Yeah, see, they're 0 0.3 unraised compared to... Oh, no, it's the same. We have increased the costs a little because um, it makes sense to raise these costs because they can get absurdly high. And that includes the AI. The AI wars have raised costs and will lower their armies because of it. But which one even... Well then, Missy Shields just cost too much. That's a fact. I enter Unwin's chambers, only seem sitting beside the fireplace at the edge of the room, stretching his dragon egg just over the flames. Tensions of fire lick at the bottom of the scaly surface, and smoke dims the usual bright colour of the egg. It's gone cold, he says, tears dripping down his face. I reach through the smoke and run my hands along the surface. The egg is as lifeless as stone. So I'm given the beige dragon egg. And yeah, we'll give him the opal one. I'll take back the beige one. But it's now a court art. Oh, it's a court artifact. Uh, so I can't use it. That's a shame, actually. It's gone cold. Um, we'll get some bowmen. They're cheap enough. And we'll get them in the shield tower. Eventually, I will get Misty Misty Shields, because, I mean, we are literally called the Shield Tower. We just need it to be uh, afford like affordable in any way. Because the cost, I mean, levies cost 5.9 a month, really? Jesus. 
I mean, that's going to be a big expense. I didn't even think about that. Well, how much levies costs when raised. It's why it's possible we need to get this castle holding, because it's obviously just going to be worth more, because it's um, the Jour capital. So maybe we might... I'm going to see it, but I don't think anybody's going to join the scheme is the problem. Yeah. No one's going to join. Cancel that. My admiral and avid hunter has brought me a new sales fine hunting dogs. As I'll own the best hounds, already trained and ready to join any hunting team, no trouble. You'll find none better anywhere in the seven kingdoms of the Iron Throne, Lord. So he has a scent hound, a beast, or a beast hound. Hmm. Beast hound increases hunt. Plus one marshal, plus one prowess, and that wears a scent hound. Gives them diplomacy learning. So that increases hunt chance. But this one's against perilous beasts. I say we go for it. Let's get a beast hound. We'll call him. Nose wise, it's, it seems like this is just spreading entirely just through the reach. This, whatever this sickness is, it's spreading bad. Look at it. Just don't think about us, the brain. Something about Hell's Peak just needs to be destroyed over and over again. Here he is, Unwin Peak. A local farmer has brought for many accusers of stealing crops from his field. The thief claims he did so only to feed himself, and he has nothing to eat and is starving. Hmm. Yep. Stop fucking wasting my time. Why why is this my issue? Such a trivial matter. I have a dragon. I don't need trivial matters like this, you know. I just need my dragon. Well, with the Shield Islands completely under our control, even if it took forever to siege Oak and Shield, I think that is where we will call it for this episode. Not only do we now have Sapphire, we own two dragons, because our dear son Lionel has finally hatched his own. Hegegon, the child of Sapphire. And now the question will be about my dear son Unwin. Already one egg has failed to bond with him, and has turned to stone. Surely it will not happen again. Now we have our new young daughter, Jane, uh, who will train diplomacy, who has an egg of her own, a sweet ray egg. All we can hope is that two may hatch and form such a mighty, powerful beast. We are already on our path to greatness, already a duke, but from here the path completely changes, because being a duke is going to have eyes on us, eyes of dragon riders, eyes of kings, eyes of the world, and who knows if all of these eyes are going to be beneficial. Thank you guys so much for watching, I shall see you all in the next episode. Until then.